edition of BeerAmerica.tv. I am Paul Leone with John Pinkerton. John Pinkerton. And this beer is long overdue because, um, as I maybe have said in the past, uh, I started my career in Cooperstown, New York in 1993 uh, at the Baseball Hall of Fame in uh -huh. my video career. And worked there for a number of really uh, a great, great years. It's a great town. And when you think of Cooperstown, New York, obviously you think of the Baseball Hall of Fame. But what, yeah, you don't. But what, right, what do you think of when you think of Cooperstown, New York? I think of Omega. Exactly, and that's my point. Because if you drive just two miles down the road from Brewery Omega, just two miles down uh, the road, you arrive at the Cooperstown Brewing Company, who were there long before really? Brewery Omega. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, not okay. long before, a few years before. Uh, I think 1995, I believe, is when uh, uh, Cooperstown Brewing Company got wow. started. And their flagship beer, is called Old Slugger, and I drank a lot of this when I was in Cooperstown because I mean you had an American craft brewery and this island in the middle of the state. You know, I mean it was just sort of Cooperstown is very isolating in the winter time. There's only you know two thousand people population. It's it pretty darn snowy up there. Yeah, it's, it's a little bit like uh, The Shining. <laughs> yeah, actually that was almost one. Of, actually, that was the finalist. Believe it or not, side note. The hotel there was the finalist for that movie, but they ended up shooting it somewhere else. I, I can see that because I went to a wedding in February. At that hotel, oh, you, you speak did. of, and oh, the it snowed hotel. that night, yep. and they only had a portion of the hotel open because it's shut down in the winter. Yeah, it's just for this wedding that is open. And I swear to God, you, you turn a corner, and all of a sudden, you'd be like, Ugh, yeah. "Whoa!" My wife worked there. Creepy. Yeah, it's yeah, it's a cool place though. But anyway, Cooper's really nice hotel though. The really beauty. beautiful hotel, awesome hotel. Yeah, it really is. So Old Slugger is a, a great, great beer. As a matter of fact. Um, before we talk about it, uh, Stan Hall, there's a video that I had done on the website uh, on Cooperstown Brewing Company. You should look that up. Um, but Stan Hall, let's go to Stan right now, and he's going to tell you a little bit about uh, the uh, Old Slugger. This is our fermentation deck where all our beers are fermented in the ale tradition. They're open top fermenters. We have a 20-barrel system, which means we can brew 620 gallons each time we do a run. We are... Uh, producing um, about uh, 1,200 barrels of beer a year, which is a little under 40,000 gallons. And our beer is distributed in the way ori the original microbrewery started. That is, we're not shipping our beer more than one day's truck drive from the brewery. So we ship it to Boston, we ship it to Buffalo, we ship it to Lake Placid, and down to New York City. Uh, Thirteen years ago, we started brewing Old Slugger Pale Ale. This is a hardy pale ale, copper in color, 5.5%. It is still our most popular style. We brew a lot of that beer. So there's just a little tidbit right there uh, about it. So let me, um, let me pour a little bit for you. Because, uh, it, you know, I, I've been meaning to do this beer for a long time. And um, you'll that see... In a, yeah, that's for you, oh, absolutely. You. And then uh, you can see the color here. And I'll, we'll talk about it here in a second, but I, I, I really enjoy this beer, and you can see it right there. Oh, it's nice and brown. Wow. Now, they do open fermentation, and they have, uh, and it's, it's brewed with ringwood yeast, and these are some of the things I want you to talk about briefly. What's the difference okay. whether you open ferment or, or not open ferment? Well, fundamentally, fermentation itself doesn't care whether there's an open top or mm -hmm. a cover on the, on the tank, so mm -hmm. that's really irrelevant, but um, you can do some things during fermentation uh, in the way that you handle the yeast that really change the overall character. Um, now typically most yeasts that are used in open fermentation are tanks, or rather, I'm sorry, yeast that uh, are extremely, uh, as we call it, top cropping. That means they throw up a big, uh, thick head of yeast mm -hmm. on top, uh, which sort of facilitates being able to scoop it off the top. and. Um, pitch it to the next batch. Got you. Um, so it's really that simple. Well, um, I mean, there's a little bit more to it than that, but that is definitely one of the, the major things. You can also um, do some skimming uh, during fermentation that uh, would, would prevent um, various materials from settling back through the beer. Mm -hmm. A lot of the traditional English brewers that, that really swear by the whole top cropping uh, business, um, you know, make claims about how not letting that yeast sort of fall back through the beer mm -hmm. as you would in the cylinder conical tank like what we have behind us. Um, it really um, helps clean up the flavor. Okay. Um, I'm not sure if I'm entirely on board with that assessment or not, but right. uh, certainly it changes things. I mean, everything you do 
is going to have an impact, and that having a totally different procedure like that is going to change things. Okay. Um, you're also kind of selecting different kinds of yeast, or you're you're sort of selecting for a behavior of the yeast when you do that. So, uh, good or bad, that is going to change the overall character of the yeast. Mm -hmm. um, so. So yeah, so they, they definitely brew in the English style. It's 5.5% alcohol by volume, uh, and, and to me, uh, I really like this beer. I mean, it's a really easy drinking beer. Um, in 1995, I think when it first came out, I thought, what a huge beer this was. 5.5% 5, 5, 5 alcohol, oh my god, I thought my head was going to fall off. And this was, you know, <laughs> back in 95. And now, you know, it's just, you know, it's baby beer. You know, 5.5 is not that bad. Oh, it's a good, I mean, it's a good session no, beer. It's a good session beer, absolutely right. And um, uh, you can get this beer not only in that area, but um, he says that you know they only uh, ship their beer within a day's drive of the brewery. So you can get it in New York, New York. Uh, wow. You can get it in you know Massachusetts, Vermont, part of New England, uh, some in Pennsylvania, Philadelphia, that sort of thing. So it's really a, a northeast thing. And Stan Hall. So I don't know. What do you think? Um, I like it. It, it mm -hmm. definitely. Uh, you mentioned that that that, that, that very. Particular yeast strain. That's the uh, Ringwood strain. The Ringwood yeast. Yeah. Ringwood. Yeah. That's uh, that's one of those those yeasts that you can kind of smell from a mile away. Mm -hmm. It has a very distinctive character. I often describe it. Um, I mean, it can kind of take different uh, flavor characteristics depending on how it's handled. And to me, in this in this beer, what I'm getting is that sort of woody. It's it, it's something I almost associate with like cedar or something. Mm -hmm. um, it's kind of a woody character, and uh, yeah, very fruity. In some cases, I find that the ringwood yeast tends to throw off what I call a doughy character, mm -hmm. um, but but really paired with that fruit, I mean, it's it's just such a distinctive thing, um, hard to miss. Yeah. So you know, next time you're in Cooperstown and you know you go to the Baseball Hall of Fame, you go to Brewery Omegang, literally, you know, you get out of Brewery Omegang, you drive out, and you take a left, and it's literally like two miles down the road. It's, it's right there, Cooperstown Brewing Company. It's an old uh, milk barn, or milk, not barn, but like an old uh, milking building uh, for cattle. It's right on the railroad. It's actually in Milford, uh, which is the next town over. But uh, it's just really just a few miles away. Stan Hall uh, cool. is the owner and a uh, great guy. Please tell him hello. I owe him big. It's taken so <laughs> long for me to do this for him, uh, and I wanted to. And again, check the video out at Cooperstown Brewing Company on this very website. All right. All right. So there you have it. Good stuff. Full nice Slugger Pale Ale. Uh, you check it out and get it if you can get it and visit them when you're up there. Because a lot of people, and I know a lot of you, have been to probably Brewery Home Gang or want to get there. So go to the Brewing Company. Right on. Paul at BeerAmerica.tv. Pink at BeerAmerica.tv. Cheers. Cheers.